Hey, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. I'm Roscoe, and on this episode, we're going to be replacing the cartridge on the inside of a bathroom faucet. I've got a bathroom faucet that's leaking, and so we need to repair it. It's real simple to do, and here's how you do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn the water off before you take your faucet apart. Check and make sure that the water is, in fact, all the way off, and then we can pop off the little cover on the front of the handle. That will allow you to get to the set screw on the inside. The set screw can be loosened with an Allen wrench. You're just going to want to loosen it a couple of turns. You don't need to remove the set screw all the way. You'll risk losing it. So I've got mine loosened up and I can pull the handle off. And you'll see that I didn't remove the screw all the way. It's still inside there. So I'll just leave the Allen key inside the handle and set that aside. Next, we're going to remove the decorative ring around the edge. If you put a towel over it, you can grab a hold of it with a wrench without scratching up the chrome finish. This piece isn't really holding anything on. It's just sort of there for decoration. So you might even be able to remove it with your hands. This nut inside here is what is holding the cartridge in place. So we're going to remove that. You can either use a wrench or a pair of adjustable pliers. The wrench I had with me wasn't big enough, so I'm going to use the adjustable pliers. I should note that the faucet that we're working on today is a price fister faucet. This process is the same for most bathroom faucets, whether they be Moen or Delta or Kohler. The cartridges will be different for different brands though. So when you're pulling out this cartridge, you're going to want to find one that matches this one. So when I pull my cartridge out, the rubber seal is not on the bottom of the cartridge. It is stuck down in the bottom of the faucet. That's pretty common. You're going to need to remove that seal as well. If you don't know which cartridge to get, you can remove the old one and go to the hardware store to match it. Or you can search Amazon and see if you can find it that way. I have a cartridge that matches mine, so I will slide it down in the hole. It only goes in one way because there's little nubs that stick out of the back that only allow the faucet to line up one way. Now we're going to put it back together in reverse order. Just screw on the nut that holds the cartridge in place. You're going to want to tighten that down pretty snug. Next, we'll put that decorative ring on. No need to tighten it on with the pipe wrench. Like I said, this doesn't really hold anything in. Just tighten it up with your hands will be enough. Now we can turn the water back on and test the cartridge to make sure that it doesn't leak. You're going to want to look for water around the top of the cartridge and any dripping coming out of the front of the faucet. Ours didn't leak, so we can put the handle back on. Slide the handle over the top of the cartridge. And you'll tighten up that set screw with the Allen wrench. With the set screw tightened, we can put that little plug back in the handle. Go ahead and clean up any mess that you may have made. And that is how you replace the cartridge in a bathroom faucet. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.